can you tell students here you have to tick the boxes in the pictures using the index which is given on page number 31 in this index first point is there i use or experience for that you need to put tick mark then i have seen there you need to put star mark and i do not know about it there you need to put cross mark students you can see here different rows first row it is of housing in this row you can see various types of houses second row it is of clothing in this row you can see various types of attire attire means dressing then third row it is of flora and fauna flora and fauna that means various types of plants and animals fourth row it is of various kinds of food stuff now you can have two minutes to put tick mark star mark and cross mark after that we are going to see some questions based on these charts let's see the first question here why are all the house types shown in the pictures not seen in our surroundings all the house types shown in the pictures are not seen in our surroundings because house types differ from place to place they are built taking into consideration of rainfall temperature and raw material available for building houses here is second question which are the regions where such types of houses are found in cities we find buildings and bungalows built of concrete material an igloo is found in the tundra or taiga region huts are found in the grassland or forested areas would you like to stay in a house built of ice why don't we build such houses yes i would like to stay in an ice house we can't build it here because the temperature is high which will melt the ice and we don't have snowfall in maharashtra fourth question what brings about difference in people's clothing there is a difference in people's clothing because firstly it depends upon the climate of the place secondly it depends upon the culture and tradition as well as the raw material available or textile industries that are set up a particular region fifth question is where do you think cooks insects and ants also form a part of the diet of the people human beings eat whatever is edible and does not harm the digestive system previously cooks insects and ants were consumed mainly by tribal people or people living in underdeveloped countries but today it is consumed by people for protein or for tradition or even as exploratory cuisine can the animals from polar region like polar bears and penguins be kept in tropical zoos no polar bear and penguins survive only in colder regions they cannot bear the tropical heat and may die therefore they are not kept in tropical zoos are all the plants shown in the pictures found in our surroundings if not where do you think they can be found textbook page number 30 the trees shown in the first picture is found in the coastal area the tree in the second picture is found in the equatorial region the plant in the third picture is found in the hot desert region textbook page number 31 the tree in the first picture is found in grassland regions the tree in the second picture is found in the monsoon region the tree in the third picture is found in the taiga region there exist a large number of different things in the world than those we see in our surroundings. We see different educational and informative TV programs about wildlife. We become curious to know more about this wildlife. Why is this wildlife 
not seen in our areas why are they not similar to the wildlife found in our areas what causes this difference let us try to find the reasons behind all these there are differences in terms of landforms climate soils etc in different parts of the world this difference is mainly due to the availability of sunlight and water in that region the availability of sunlight and water keeps on changing from equator to the poles you have studied this in the previous standards differences in landforms climate and soil greatly influence the flora and fauna and human life and give rise to variations in the biodiversity in different parts of the world on the other hand there are similarities of climate vegetation and animal life in different continents that spread between certain latitudes and similarities stand out as the distinctive features of these regions as these regions stand out on the basis of natural factors they are called natural regions the natural environment of such regions affect the living world including human beings the entire land area on the earth can be divided into this natural regions let us try to understand the distribution with the help of maps and tables given in this lesson here is the first region is tundra region the location and extent is between 65 degree to 90 degree parallels it is extended in greenland northern canada northern europe and northern asia climate of tundra region here mean summer temperature is 10 degree celsius mean winter temperature is approximately negative 20 to negative 30 degree celsius mean annual rainfall it is 25 to 300 mm and very cold climate natural vegetation in tundra region is short lived vegetal life vegetal life means plants plants lived for very short time short grasses small shrubs flowers lichens and mosses grow here animal life in tundra region you can see caribou reindeers here polar bears foxes walrus and seals animals found over here with soft and thick fur human life in tundra region here in this region people survive by doing hunting and fisheries here they live in high tents igloos which are called tupic houses they use sledges for transportation people are named eskimo here their life is very tough and the population distribution is highly sparse sparse means very rare very few people you can see here staying second region is taiga region location and extent of this region is approximately between 55 degree and 65 degree northern parallels from alaska to atlantic coast and parts of eurasia climate in taiga region is summer temperature is between 15 degree to 20 degree celsius winter temperature is below 0 degree celsius the mean annual rainfall is between 300 and 500 mm here the rainfall is found in summer and snowfall is in winter natural vegetation in taiga region here coniferous forests are found the trees are found with narrow pointed leaves branches are leaning towards the ground wood is light and soft here the trees mainly found are spruce fir pine and redwood animal life in taiga region here the animals found with soft and thick fur here caribou elks ermine beavers silver fox minks bears etc are found
human life in taiga region here the population is very less lumbering and hunting are the major occupations here few agrarian activities are carrying out over here by the people who stay here 